Hi everyone, it's Allie. Today is the Card Happen February, and our monthly theme is your favorite color, and we could use a piece of acetate or vellum in our project. So I use the Pretty Pink Posh Happy Birthday die, and I recently purchased this. I thought it was such a cool die. Um, and I just took a piece of paper and ran it through um, my Spellbinders machine just to give me an idea of what it was going to look like. And I didn't pop that little um, bow out. I just kind of wanted to see um, what would happen if I left it in. And it's really cute. I mean, you could leave it in. Um, and use it as an all-in-one piece if you want to. But I did end up um, snipping it off. And so what I did first was grab a whole bunch of different blues and blue-green paper. Um, any type of blue, obviously, <laughs> is my favorite color. So I wanted my card bases to be white and basically my cakes to look white and then I was going to fill everything else in with blues and then I decided to add um, some silver glitter paper and like a silver mirror paper um, to give it some accents. So I ran it through a bunch of times to give me all those different blue colors and I decided to do two cards. So on this first card, I took some foam tape and I put it behind my cake um, and then all my other pieces. It was a little bit difficult because it is very thin, um, all of those die cut lines. So I made it as thin as I could and then I kind of had to play with the foam tape a little bit. I kind of pushed it in with my pick there. Um, because you could see some of it. So I had to play around with it a little bit, but in the end, I think it came out fine. Um, you couldn't really see it. So then what I did was take a piece of thick acetate and I sent it through my machine, not to cut it all the way through. So you kind of have to play with your sandwich, um, but to give me a really good impression. And then all I did was take my scissors um, and cut it out the rest of the way because all I wanted was the cake part. And I'm going to go ahead and put my Hero Arts confetti um, right in my cake. And actually, I should have put the confetti first. So if you're doing something like this, put the confetti first, then put the glue on <laughs> because I was having a hard time um, not getting the confetti in the glue. <laughs> <laughs> so then um, once I had that done, then I took a navy blue piece of cardstock and I'm going to adhere that on top to finish off the piece um, and make it look very clean. So it, I guess if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to do this step, but um, I just felt like it really needed to be covered up. Um, so you wouldn't see the edges of the acetate. And I mean, you could even cut it down to where you're only going to put something back over the cake. It was very easy to snip apart this die, the areas that you wanted to. Um, so you could do something like that. And I'm just using my Stamp Anything glue and some random foam tape I had um, in my stash. I actually, I'm not really in love with it. It's very, very sticky. It's hard to kind of work with, but since I have it, I'm going to use it. <laughs> so that's why I cut out a lot of the parts where I was working with the foam tape because it took me a while to get it cut and adhered the way I wanted to because it's just, it was not the easiest to work with. So for my second card, um, I decided I was going to make um, the whole thing um, a shaker card. So I put the acetate um, backing on the whole card and I wanted to make this card um, basically an acetate card, a clear card. So what you're seeing here is the um, top portion of the card and I'm going to fill in those elements first. 
And again, it's just like a random selection of all the different blues and what I thought looked good together. And then what I'm going to do is this is the back side. So because you could see through it and I had that acetate there, you could see the glue when I glued the front. And I didn't want it to look um, bad so because I wasn't putting it on a regular card base. So I put pieces on the front and pieces on the back. And then I'm making my card base there. And I just glued a piece of white on the inside so I have a place to write my message. And I'm going to adhere my top portion right to the top of that um, card base, the acetate. So again, I just used the foam tape right around my top piece there. And when I do like a whole shaker card, I like to add a lot of it. So I basically use the whole thing. So I use that same Hero Arts confetti. And then I'm also going to add in like a, it's more of a blue mix of confetti. And I'll have to see if I have the name of that one. That might be like a cat scrappiness or something. I think it was like a free set I got. And I don't think it was labeled. Um, so I'm not really sure where I got that one from. But if I can find it, I'll list that one as well. So I use all of that. And I think it came out so fun. And that kept sticking everywhere. <laughs> so I had to try to get it off my fingers there. So, and for this one, I used two layers of the foam tape because I really wanted to be able to um, shake it around. On that first card, I decided just to use one piece. I wanted it a little bit tighter. All right, so now we have the makings of my card, so you can see both sides. And because I adhered that white piece um, inside, I'm going to have to put a white piece on the back of my card just so you don't see all the glue. So basically, I'm just cleaning up the card, making sure everything looks nice. And then I was checking here to kind of see because, again, you're going to see that white foam tape inside and I did not want that to show. So I was checking to see if I liked the color of this. And I'm just going to cut the middle piece out and just adhere the outside rectangular portion. And like I said, it was really easy to snip that off. So you can do a lot with this die and really kind of play with it. And I think this is just such a fun card. I really loved how it turned out. So then I decided to pull out my Stamparatus. And I had to just kind of play with the placement there. Um, because I wanted the happy birthday to show right through my cake. And I did kind of like a shadow stamping on it, just to add a little bit more um, something different on the card. And there are my two cards. So the in my description will be the next person on the hop. So please go ahead and watch all the videos, um, like and comment. We really do appreciate it. Um, if you are new and you like my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And here are some still photos of my cards. So I just want to thank you for joining me today. And I will catch you next month for another card hopping. Have a great day. Bye everyone.